Hey, everybody out there in YouTube land, Jake at a one-man band is back again. This is another Ruby fan game, Ruby, Blake's Adventure, a visual novel. Pretty freaking awesome. I heard about this a while back, but it was still in, like, beta mode back then, so I didn't really touch it. But I I believe this is the full version, or at least a full-er version. Uh, shout out to, um, Clayton... The guy who put this in the in the box that was all like, "Hey, check this out!" Inbox a comment. Who texted? Stupid phone! Stop. Bleh. I hate phones. Anyway, so uh, shout out to Clayton Smith Games. Sorry, finally remembered your name. <laughs> okay, so uh, there's gonna be a link in the description down to uh, go and download this game for yourself. But let's dive into it, shall we? Because you know me, I love my. You. <laughs> what just happened? I have no idea. Is the, is the sound working? Oh, no, 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 wait. Yeah, sound should be working. Okay, so looks like we're in the Forest of Forever Fall. Okay, what did just happen? Falls out of the tree, 50 stories up, hits the ground. Ouch! Ah! <laughs> ah! Pain! Blacks out. Hmm, so it's. Okay, ellipses with an extra dawn at the end. Okay, there's a sound. Wakes up, feeling not too well. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't feel too well either if I fell. 50 stories? That's 500 feet! How are you still alive? Or maybe it was just 50 feet. E either, either way, how are you still alive? My body really hurts. She's a black-haired girl with a bow in the forest. I'll ask her what happened. Oh, so we, we see Blake in the forest, but who are we? That is the question. Gets up. Starts walking toward her. Hello, girl. Sup, girl? Do you know what just happened? I'm afraid I don't know what just happened. Hmm. Who are you, and why did you? Where did you come from? I came from the sky, man. I fell out of a tree. <laughs> You'll need a name so people know to to call you. You know, so people know what to call you by. I'm thinking about my name. I just can't remember it. My name? Ooh, I get to type? I get to type my own name? What is my name, guys? What is my name? Mm, I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with one of my... OC people. My OC Ruby team members. Pleased to meet you, Sergei Nagant. Are you a boy or a girl? Oh, so it's like Pokemon! Are you a boy or a girl? A girl? I'm sorry. VG Cats. Okay. I am a boy. At least last time I checked I was. Wait, let me... Yep, I'm a guy. <laughs> okay. That's nice to know. We need another guy around here. Flirty. Ooh! Blake, you being in a flirty mood. Alrighty. Are you hitting on me? We just met. Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. -na 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 -na. Oh, I'm so sorry. Too soon, forgive me. I didn't mean it like that. Embarrassed. Hmm. Uh, it's okay. I won't tell anyone. We're in the middle of the forest anyway. Thank you. Otherwise, it would have. I would have had to kill you. She is angry. Uh, <laughs> hello there. What is your name? My name is Blake Belladonna. You can call me Blake. Um, will you... Will you help me <laughs> make my visual novel? Oh, so it's like breaking a fourth wall here. Oh, man. This is actually quite... This is actually quite a... An ingenious idea, I believe. Silence. She is shocked. And then... Sure, but what is a visual novel? Uh, it's a hentai game! <laughs> Only if you want it to be! It's a story with pictures. It's a story with pictures and music. That sounds exciting. We should see if any other girls would like to help you. Come on, Sergei Nagant, let's go. Okay. Play that music! Here we go, Beacon Academy. 
I'm just going to just gonna turn that down because it's actually it was actually quite blasting in my ears but here we here we is where we can train to become hunters and huntresses to battle against the evil creatures of Grimm. I believe Grimm is spelled with a double M, but that's just my prem premonition. Does it matter? What's that? They are evil demonic creatures that have been here since the beginning of time. Some say death brought them here a long time ago. Humans and Grimm have fought before in battle, but it always ended up in vain. Well, it all depends on what you mean by vain. I mean, humans are still around, so... It, it's like the more aggressive you are to them, the more powerful the Grimm become. Almost like they're fueled by rage and death. Which they kinda are. That's a tragedy. Are there any humans left in this war? Well, yeah, cause we're here. In the city! Yes, your species has rebuilt and adapted to these demonic creatures. Well, that's good news to hear. I didn't know the this stuff was even happening. I guess, I guess I hit my head harder than I thought back in the forest. Or maybe I just dropped through a trans-dimensional portal. A magical school for huntresses and huntresses. Evil demonic creatures, where am I? I guess a new adventure is about to unfold. And by it, and I believe where we are is actually Hogwarts. We are at Hogwarts. It's Ruby! What's up, Ruby? Hey, Blake. Hey, Blake. I, can, I can't do a Ruby voice. I'm sorry. Hugs her tightly. Do you mind not doing that? Try shove Ruby off of her. It's embarrassing. Ruby is shocked. Then, who's the new person, Blake? This is Sergei Nagat. Meet Ruby Rose. Hello, Ruby. You're very awesome sauce. Hello there. Nice to meet you. This is Sergei Nagat. Hello, Ruby. It's nice to meet you, too. Now the pleasantries are aside. So, how did you get here, Sergei Nagant? I don't remember, Ruby. I think I stepped through a transdimensional portal. Or maybe I accidentally stepped out of the TARDIS. I have no idea. I woke up in the middle of a forest and met Blake. Blake should be capitalized there, but let's look past that, shall we? That's all I remember. Interesting story there. Well, I got it. Get back to class, Blake. I'll see you later, Sergey. <laughs> see you later, Ruby. Bye, Ruby. She's a nice young lady. She's quite the character, all right. Ah, <laughs> character, because she's in a story. Hey. <laughs> Hello there, Miss Miss Belladonna. Hello, Professor. Who is this lovely person here with you? I am Sergey Nagant. Oh, Sergey Nagant. Meet Professor Ozpin, headmaster of Beacon Academy. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, Sergey. <laughs> Professor Ospin shakes hands with you. Ah! I got Ospinness on my hand! That is so awesome. <laughs> so what's your story, Sergey? How did you get here? I woke up in the middle of the forest, and that's when I found Blake here. And I... Remember my body hurting. It's all... That... It still kind of does. I have a question to ask, Professor. Go ahead. Do you hear or feel a big rumble happen uh, before in the day? I certainly didn't hear a big rumble before. Uh, did you miss Belladonna while you were in the forest? I didn't hear or feel anything. Sorry. Are you sure you're okay? No, I'm not okay. This isn't even my world. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, you're welcome to stay here at the academy. Oh, okay. I don't gotta pass no entrance exam or nothing? That's right. Free ride scholarship. Thank you, sir. Call me Professor. Thank you, Professor. Any student of mine is welcome here at this academy, and you're one of them now, Sergey. Okay, I didn't even prove myself to you, but sure, yeah. I guess trans-dimensional portal jumping uh, qualifies as being hunter material. Uh, thank you again. Don't thank me, Sergey. You should be thanking Blake for finding you in the forest. Thank you, Blake. For every time! You're welcome, Sergey. Smiles at you. Why, thank you. Blake, will you... Will you... Will be more than happy to show you around the school. You kids have fun now, and don't stay up too late. Oh, well... 
Yeah, you can just apologize. Shut up. I'll stay up as long as I want. Come with me. I'll show you around the school. Did it suddenly get dark? It's kind of dark in here. It was just then that I realized my life had changed. That it was the start of a new adventure. Blake and Sergey run off together into the distance for the new and exciting adventure! Thank you for playing the demo of the game. Okay, so this was just the demo. So, good ending. Good to know. There was only one choice, which meant it was probably the decision between hentai game and novel with uh, pictures and stuff. Okay, so. The... Okay, so there's the music. It must... My bad. Anyway, so. Verdict on this game. Okay, it is, like, still not complete so a lot of the errors with like um the spelling and the grammar and some of the um character sprites it's like parts of their like top of the heads and stuff were kind of cut off i can look past that because it's still in early development but uh i like it how it's the kind of if they're going to stick with this as the beginning, I do like the idea that it's like breaking the fourth wall almost. So it's like, you're not playing as a character, you're actually playing as yourself. So, I mean, that's really cool. I like that whole aspect of it, but definitely I would love to see this completed and I would love to play a full version of it. Hopefully I'm actually done with some of my other stuff before that happens. But, once again, if you guys want to check this out for yourself, uh, link in the description below. Thanks again to Clayton Smith Games for showing this to me. And, uh, to the creator of this game, kudos to you, man, for actually going out and making something of this. I mean, it may turn out to be the new greatest thing, or it may turn out to be just meh. Either way, I really have a good feeling that I'm going to be playing this full version in the future. So, enough of me babbling. Like and favor if you've enjoyed. Subscribe, of course. I'll see you guys next time I'm out there in YouTube land. Be a nice person and tip your waitresses. Watch out for interdimensional portals opening up beneath your legs. I will see you guys later. Yeah, yeah.